It's going to be interesting. So now we have our head and now we're going to obviously prep it um, to get it to this point. So I'll try to do a little bit and then it's going to be so noisy I'll have to we'll figure it out. But So first thing is you need to get a tunnel kind of going in the back of the head. So for bigger birds, pintails, mallards, uh, things like that, you can use three quarter inch um, sometimes smaller birds, wood duck teal, 5 eighths. I'll do 5 eighths just, just because. But So I go in about nah, maybe 3 quarters of an inch, I guess. And then depending on the pose, so now we have our basic hole. And then next will be dremeling. Uh, and then when I when I do the sanding bit especially, I do it with the vacuum because if not, that stuff will just get everywhere. And when you have the sanding bit, uh, you know, then you, then you can sand right in front of the vacuum, and uh, makes it makes it a ton easier. So try this out. Yeah. All right, awesome. All right, so just a second of this. All right, so just a quick example. Come back in a second. I forgot to mention, uh, especially when you mold the heads off of a real head, you're going to want to do the eyes, um, or I'm sorry, paddle build a mat. So we'll get the eyes just to give us a spot to put the art, of the uh, glass eyes in there. So you know, just a little bit. Um, So then the main thing here is instead of really, I think it's kind of explanatory, but um, I'll use like a drill bit on the Dremel and then I'll just kind of go up and down the line and hopefully you can kind of see the depth of that. It's probably half an inch, I'd say. So you just want to make like a little channel from the neck from the other video. You just want to make it where it can fit in there. You know, you'll fill this full of glue pop it in there, hold it still for a little bit, let it harden, and then there you go. Um, another thing is you can kind of see around the edges, um, you know, it's kind of flat from where you initially skinned it out. And so what you want to do there is, everything's all, I have this little fine bit. Um, you want to get the smallest thing you can. I found this one really works the best because it's kind of a little bit longer. There's one that has like a little ball on the end, but it's real kind of, I don't know, finicky. This is a little bit more uh, reliable, but I just go in and I guess I'll do maybe underneath this real quick. But you want to do it basically so when you put the skin back over, you don't want to glue it like this where it's going to be higher than the bill itself. You want to dremel it out so it fits, it tucks underneath the edge of the bill. So it's a recess. And once it tucks in there, then your bill connection will be really good. Um, it won't have any gaps in it. And uh, it just makes for a way, way cleaner and easier way of doing it. So uh, let me show the dremeling of this in a second. All right, so quick recap. We've done making the head, prepping the mold. Um, you know, 9 sixteenths nine or uh, half inch for the eyes. Uh, three quarter or five eighths paddle bit for the back, uh, sanding bit for you know if you're doing a sitting bird and you need to do this and you want to make it a little bigger anyway, kind of around the edges. Again, like the shoveler, you want to kind of get it up to the edge. That way you can make your channel and you have plenty of room for the neck once you glue it in. Um, and then from here we just kind of smooth off the edges with the sanding bit, and then I'm going to show you what I'm talking about on this. And then now your head is ready to paint. So basically I'm just kind of getting in there 
Normally I have the vacuum on for this, but it's so noisy. So I'm just kind of getting in there. And like I said, I'm trying to go underneath the bill to give it like a, a recess in there. And so that kind of gives you an idea. So then that way, uh, that way once you, the skin is there, then you could, when you put the hug, the super glue down, you could tuck it in there and you're good to go. No gaps, real nice bill, uh, bill connection. So, and that's pretty much it. I just go around the whole bill. I do the same thing, make a little, uh, crevice in there so the skin can tuck in. Uh, do the nostrils and then like I said, this is for a mallard and he'll be ready to paint So then next we should be good uh, to, uh, to show how to paint So I'll uh, catch you guys in